simplest circuit I know how to build. We've got a couple of batteries, we've got a switch, and we've got a light bulb. You can't get much simpler than that. You close the switch, the light comes on. This has been working great most of the day, but what I've found is if you leave the circuit alone for a few moments and it builds up a little bit of a charge, I don't know if it's ionizing radiation, I don't know if it's sunspots, I don't know if it's the end of the world, I just don't know. But check out, hopefully now this is going to happen again, check out what can happen with this. Okay, so this is what I'm talking about here. I've got two batteries and I've got a light bulb uh, and it's just run through a switch. But now that I've set it down, <laughs> the switch is closed and the light's not working anymore. If that isn't weird enough, I'm going to bet, and I've seen this happen before, that if I disconnect the batteries from the bulb, let's try it, by opening the switch, there it goes again. This thing is working exactly backwards from how any switch should work. There's no power going to the bulb now. I've disconnected the switch here. Nothing is going through the wires. The bulb is lit. And yet when I supply power to the bulb by closing the switch, <laughs> the light goes right out. This makes no sense at all. I assume in 2012 that everything is going to be working backwards. I, I don't get this at all. So that's it. You tell me, but it's a little scary when the simplest circuit, something that's, uh, that's this robust with uh, four wires and a light bulb, uh, isn't doing what it's supposed to do. <laughs> Imagine what's probably going on inside computers all around the world right now. So hopefully you get this message before it's too late.